So this is Dr. Shivam Gesarwani saying hi to all of you and let's start with high yielding stuff part 5. So in this section you will find 5 tables, 5 important tables from which you can get around 10 questions because every point is a repeat MCQ from, from your MC, uh, need PG based questions. So stay focused man. So the first topic which is coming is emphysema. Now most common form of emphysema if you see clinically and overall. So overall it is irregular or parapsychiatrical but if you see clinically in living persons it is centri SNR and you all know that is why it is the most common due to heavy smoking. Everyone is smoking now even the medical students so century century snr is the most common form and the most common involved lobe is the upper lobe now if you are being asked by neat pg per examiners that or they frame one question that the patient is presenting with the this 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 and having means you found that the patient is having alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency so this um, the examiner must be asking you about if it is with emphysema so it will be panacinar panacinar type of emphysema is associated with alpha 1 antitrypsin and which is most common in the emphysema most commonly seen panacinar in the lower lobes if you see the emphysema associated most commonly with the spontaneous pneumothorax in adults is the paraceptal or distal SNR emphysema why it is called distal SNR because it involves distal part of the SNS and it also involves the pleura so it the pleura gets spontaneously ruptures so most commonly associated with the spontaneous pneumothorax in adults it will be paraceptal or the distal SNR now the emphysema is over by this means this you know you have known some important points from emphysema and this will suffice for neat PD. One another table which is very frequently asked is anti-LKM antibodies are seen in. So these are three types anti-LKM 1, 2 and 3 out of which 2 is most frequently asked which is associated with drug induced hepatitis. 1 is associated with hepatitis C again very important and autoimmune type 2 hepatitis 3 associated with hepatitis D okay now you can see here one egg and the chicken is peeping out of the cracked egg so what it is basically it is this slide showing tumor markers in case of ovarian tumor so very very important you can keep my words these are very important you cannot afford to make this wrong in your exam so do remember this dysgerminoma for LDH in bracket PLAP or SCG serous for CA125 mucinous carcinoma for CEA granulosa having call exner's bodies tumor markers is inhibin granulosa inhibin now EST or embryonal cell tumor is AFP or LDH containing of Schiller dual bodies the embryonal these EST is endodermal sac tumor or yolk sac tumor is AFP alpha fetoprotein or LDH so endodermal sac tumor contains Schiller dual bodies how I remember this I can tell you is that in this is endodermal sinus tumor so what you can uh, remember is ki this is very chilled in the endoderm is chilled and thus the chiller dual bodies just related with anything and for the remembering only remember purpose so that you can recall in your exam for embryonal cell carcinoma ovarian tumor sorry is SCG plus AFB so these two are very important granulosa mucinous 
and uh, I think three or four uh, it's, it will be embryonal and endodermal sac tumor. So you must remember this mucinous CEA, granulosa inhibin, endodermal sac tumor, AFP, embryonalis, SCG along with AFP. So this completes two tables, two, three, three actually high yielding tables and I do not want to waste uh, too much of your time so I am uh, going little bit fast. So bucket lymphoma. So three types of mutation or translocations you can see in bucket lymphoma. The type type one that is the most commonly seen is translocation 814 Q24 Q32. So what it is on eight chromosome you see the eight chromosome is common in all the three types. So eight chromosomes is the semic semic gene and the 14 in the type 1 which is the most common the 14 chromosome that is 814 is the most common so 8 is semic and the 14th is IGH now the second type is translocation 822 in spite of 814 it is 822 and the third is 828 uh, so the in second type 822 the 8 is semic and 22 is IgG lam Ig lambda means light chains and in third that is 28 the 2 belongs to Ig K kappa. So how how you can remember? You can uh, means just revise it frequently so that you remember it. And the very very frequently asked, I think the second most important in this chart in this uh, high yielding stuffs part five is the meeks and pseudomeeks. So they frequently asked, what is pseudomeek? What is meek? So in meek. Ovarian fibroma is the characteristic. Ovarian fibroma along with ascites along with pleural effusion. And in pseudomic you can find any ovarian tumor along with ascites and pleural effusion. So you must remember this. What is pseudomic and what is meek syndrome. So I tried to make this, uh, this section little interesting by drawing sketching as already the life is boring now. So you might fi find it interesting to read. So stay motivated guys, study hard as always I suggest you. So do like, comment and share if you like and uh, thanks you, thank you. And one more thing, stay happy.